Hello guys and welcome to World of Tanks with the Magnificent Lava. Um, as you can see I'm on my Japanese STA-1 and it's in, well, it's in the desert but it's sand rivers. So, as you can see I did not move for a very long time at the start of this battle. I, I was trying to make up my mind what I wanted to do. Now I don't have a lot of luck with this medium tank, so I I played this game very safe, very cautionate, right down to the last minutes of the game. Now, as you can see, I load up quite a few different premium rounds. In it, as you, <laughs> I was like a drunken driver. I had no idea where I wanted to go. I wanted to go round. I wanted to go this way. And I wanted to go that way. I just I just thought, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to do, <laughs> and just kept driving. Um, now this is outkitted with everything bar the top engine. I just, I just wanted to get the top gun. It needed the top gun this thing. Yeah, not much of a shot. I think I damaged his gun there. I can't understand Japanese. So, um, as you can see, I have got six cent on this tank. I'm trying to get in the right position. Zoom in. And just over the top of the Um So yeah, it was sort of one of those games where I just sort of... I didn't do a lot in this battle, but I actually did really well. Now, right, when I needed to hit count, this gun sucks at distance. It's not too bad though, like it's only, it's only 400 meters away. Finally I got a hit on him. So, as you can see, six cents come up saying, hey, you've been spotted. Took another shot got out of there, went back into hiding. Um, yeah, this is, it, it's been a challenge playing this tank with not having the top gun. This, the gun that you get, it, I'm pretty sure it was like a tier 6 or 7 gun and it just, it does not help you in any way, shape or form on this tank. So when I sat there and grinded up the 44,000 XP, just doing double stars and whenever they had the promotional things to get the triple stars and I did that and um, I actually gave this tank a really good run um, and I sort of learnt a few things how to bounce shots which way to angle it and I played the other day and I haven't played a medium tank for a long time and I, I sucked at it again it was just too difficult because I've, I've been playing a lot of heavy tanks lately as you know with the Tiger 1, the STA or I've been playing my British TD which is the AT2 or I was playing my um, T25 Type 2 TD American so I've been, I've been playing not really a medium tank class um, I do like the medium tank class because they've got that mobility to get around the map and do some damage when it counts. Now, as you can see, I still really haven't left our starting area. But then again, the IS-3 beside me hasn't left it at all. And I've just been running around taking pot shots wherever I can. Now, what I thought I'd do is I'd run over this way, crest over this hill, and shoot them all. Then I saw these two over to my right there, the KV-2 and the IS-6. I went, Oh bugger, okay. Right. Oh, no depression, time to get out of here. KV2 will do some damage. So I headed up this way, made it look like I ran away. Hopefully I disappeared. And um, sure enough, I hadn't really disappeared. I came back looking for these guys. Still couldn't find them. Couldn't see them. They couldn't see me. Six cent then and gone off. So I thought, you know what, well, it's time to move into another position where I can, well, wail down upon everyone. So of course I've gone, well, I'm going to go after the 34, I'm going to go up this hill. Okay, he's down, alright, well, maybe I've got the speed to get up there, as the other heavies and TDs don't have the speed. So I've raced along this road, road, valley thing, aiming to get up the hill into a position where I can shoot from up high down upon everyone. Now, while this is all happening, over my left there, everyone has just killed 
the others. Um, and I went, well, what was the point of me coming up here? It, it, it's now redundant. But that IS-6 is absolutely pounding our team. Now, I work camo in on this. I I am considering getting rid of it and putting vents on this tank. It's it's one of those things where it needs vents. Now, I know the gun-wielding panther's somewhere in there. Oh, there he is. Okay. Let's take a shot at him. Right, got that one. Bit of a clutch one. I've been spotted. He is somewhere there. So I took another shot and I got him, which was good. Now it's time to deal with the IS-6. Now, I, where I am, I don't have a lot of good shots, so I just have to reposition and get into a position where I can be of use to my team. The only thing is, this IS-6 is now laid waste to all of our guys, so I have to now try to do the damage to it. Fortunately, I think the T-25 beside me, no, the M-12 got him. Now the Tiger's just popped up, he's probably spotted our M12 and I've gone, alright, time to play this game, we've, we've messed around, danced around, and done everything else that we shouldn't have done the whole battle, so now it's time to move in for the kill. Now the E25's popped up and I've gone, alright, know where he is, I've got to get into a position. Now our T25 AT's gone round to where the T43 is, now they're hitting towards the cap circle while I'm racing over here. Unfortunately, I didn't keep our scumbag alive. Our IS-3 has finally started doing stuff, but I'm trying to help him. I fire a clutch shot, detract the E-25, hoping I get another shot into him. He's done a repair kit, and I missed that shot. And I went, okay, do I chase him? What are they gonna do? So now I thought it's time, well, I've, I think I had premier rounds loaded on the last shot, so I thought now I have to make every shot count. I've bought these things, I might as well use these things. So I know they're going back to the cap area because our guys are pretty well in the cap circle. I'm pretty sure they're just about to cap, which means they're going to draw them in and all I have to do is wait for them to come back. Now I was crossing my fingers that the E25 was not going to come up behind me. Uh, there's the tiger racing along. I plant one right into him, going, Yes, you beauty. And I see the E25's on the hill. Okay, I'm safe. The tiger has no idea now. The E25, he's using premium rounds, which is fine. I will send him back and go, All right, you want to play? We'll play. I, I, I can shoot you for a bit. You get out of my sights. Radio, now I know you're gone. I can pick on the tiger two again. There he is. Just shot into him, pull back behind this little bit of dirt cover I've got just to keep me alive. And this is where I start to use the premium rounds, work the tiger, hitting that lower glacier, hitting his tracks, doing whatever I can to annoy the crap out of him and do some damage. And he's finally got a shot in, and I've just bounced one of my premium rounds, which is not what I need. So I've moved into another position and start aiming it properly, planting shots through that front plate just to get through on his weak points. Oop, couldn't get very straight there. Now that E25 is really working me. He's not happy I've picked on his Tiger 2, which was his saving grace. So, now he really hates me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so he's gone tearing off towards the cap circle. And now I'm more afraid I'm going to lose the sight on him, and I'm not going to be able to kill him or do anything on my team. So I've planted my foot on that accelerator, holding it down, hoping to get him. Now as you can see, the E25 and the Tiger 2 have chewed me up, but I did knock that Tiger 2 down, which gave my 43 the ability to do that shot in the side while he was distracted. Now I've thought the E25 may be dancing up on top of the hill there, just doing spots. No, he rushed in, decapped. So I've started flying over the 43, sort of holding making sure that the cap doesn't get too high. I'm looking. Radio, here we go, racing over. So as you can see, we, we win this. The, the 43 does get the final kill. I bash trees down and walls down, going in for either a ram would do me. I didn't mind either way. So that's pretty well the end of the battle. Um, 
I know that the E25 tried to keep his tiger alive, which is the smart thing. The tiger would have obliterated these two because they were almost dead as it is. So it just goes to show that certain things can work in your favour. Now, it, as you see, 47% chance of winning. I was going to stay alive pretty well. And I think that just comes to show that XVM still may say you're going to win by small margins, but you're going to survive. That's great. But I think I only survived this one because I played a late game. As you can see, nearly 2,000 damage, which is um, pretty good for me, uh, particularly as I only had 600 at the start, so that Tiger 2 gave me a lot more. But outside of that, guys, that's basically one of my best my best games that I've had on my, as you can see, emails pop up all the time when I'm filming. <laughs> Wish people would stop emailing me or all my promotional things would stop emailing me. But anyway, um, yeah, so using the premium rounds. Now, as much as a lot of people sit saying, oh, you use them because you've got nothing else. Well, against the Tiger 2, I didn't have any other option. I had to do it. So I had to make sure that all my shots count and sometimes that's the way it goes. I will go to any length to try and pull off a win, keep my guys safe, keep them secure, and if it's going to cost me a fortune, I will do it. So, but anyway guys, happy hunting, and I will catch you next time.